Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. The popular comedian Princess, whose real name is Damla Ladikoya, has been sharing a series of posts on her official social media platform, which she hashtagged Surviving Baba Jesha. And she also shared some chats and voice notes on her official social media platform, which she said she got from alleged victims of Baba Jesha. And yeah, she shared that forgive and forget is what got us to where we are today. People keep committing crimes and dehumanizing others but they are the ones who turn around to claim they are victims. His victims and murderers and spends over 20 years for God's sake. Yoruba Runu, we need to stop covering evil if we want to move forward. Trying to smear my name and bully me at all costs shows you are a rape apologist. Babadisha has a case with legal states. Go and face the government. Leave me alone. And then she went out to share a message from her colleague narrating how Babadisha allegedly tried to rape her on set. In a voice note shared with the comedian, the actress has heard narrating how Baba Jisha tried to rape her on set. And the actress, whose name is also Princess, said she was on location when she met Baba Jisha. And she said the actor couldn't keep his eyes off her. She claims Baba Jisha then called her and told her he needed her to help him run an errand. She said she followed him to his room where he allegedly tried to forcefully have canal knowledge of her. She has that if not for God's grace on her, he would have succeeded in defiling her that day. She says God gave her the strength to push the actor away and that's how she escaped. She says that she still has a picture she took with Baba Jisha on that day before he allegedly tried defiling her. And she went ahead to add that Baba Jisha has been doing this to other people. And she said that when Baba Jisha scandal came to light, her relatives called her to ask if Baba Jesha was capable of doing such and she told them that yes, he can do something like that in her words. And then she went ahead to ask people not to support him but he has been doing this rubbish for a long time and she said Baba Jesha brought this current plight upon himself because of his lack of control around women. Baba Jesha was arrested on April 22nd when Damnela Dekoya reported the case at Sabo Police Station. It was first the Yoruba actress Yabo Ujo who brought everything to social media and then Princess also followed up by going on an official social media platform to reveal the details of the incident and how the movie star was arrested. And according to Princess, the teenager was among the six children, three boys and three girls that were put in her care some years ago after she had some challenges in her marriage which resulted in the death of her own baby. She has said that the parents of the children had done that out of compassion so that she would not feel lonely. She said while she was taking care of the children, a bad Jesha had approached her for hope as he was also battling some difficulties in his own life. She also mentioned that he had visited a house at a point to seek for hope and the process the for the girl who was seven years old at that time. The comedian said that she was not aware of the development when it happened, but noticed something was wrong with the girl as she started performing poorly in school. She went for that to explain that about seven years later, the girl eventually revealed what transpired after those several pleas. Princess said she thereafter invited Baba Jisha to her house to confront him with all what the girl had said, but then she pretended that she needed the service for a movie. The entertainer said she had installed close circuit camera television CCTV in the house. Upon his arrival, she had pretended to be going out thereby, leaving him and the 14 years old girl behind. Princess said she had invited the police after the actor allegedly attempted to molest the girl again. The detainer said that when she confronted him, he allegedly confessed to committing the crime while blaming it on the devil. She however dismissed those claims that the movie star defiled the minor for seven years, noting that it happened only twice before the one resulting in his eventual arrest. And in her words, after seven years, the girl told me and someone else what Baba Jesha did to her after she saw him in the movie. I called him for a meeting in the house where I set up a CCTV camera where he was captured trying to molest the girl again. I left the house and told him to relax and be back soon. Immediately I left, he searched my house to, to see if anyone was in aside the girl and later proceeded to defile her. I can't even disclose the things he did while I was monitoring on my phone. But immediately I saw her stand up to the kitchen where there was no camera and the police entered the house and arrested him. Princess enjoined parents whose words have also been allegedly molested by the actor to open up. She also tackled those demanding the release of the first food. She also tackled those demanding the release of the footage of the incident as evidence, questioning the rationality behind such. In the same vein, she called out those claiming she was attempting to tarnish the movie star's image. Princess said, since the actor's arrest, she has been getting death threats. And some days after this, the CCTV footage was released 
by Punch newspapers. And before the CCTV footage was released, this brought on division among Yoruba actors. Yaba Ojo called out and slammed her colleagues who were joining support for the embattled the actor in a video she captioned, Please let me mind in my industry. This is a very sensitive issue and we should all remember that a 14 years old child is involved. She urged Babadisha supporters to stop defending the actor and stand by the truth. She also asked her colleagues to desist from demanding to see the CCTV footage on social media as a minor was involved. Meanwhile, another actor, Rosie Mackin, who lent his voice to the defilement case on his Facebook, said that people should show love and give the actor benefit of the doubt as he has not been pronounced guilty in any law court. And in his words, Baba Ajesha, the popular comedian, deserves some benefit of the doubt until the court of competent jurisdiction proves him guilty of any offense. I understand he was alleged to have committed an illegal act, or is it a crime to be a movie star? He said with the way the matter went viral, it seemed people wanted the movie star down before that. And he added that let's be patient, show the accused some love, even as we condemn any bad act, and to stop jumping to conclusions when it's alleged assault on a minor. It's like some of us want him down before now. Crime is bad, but creation of any suspect on its own is also a crime. Of course, we can pity the alleged victim. Another actress, Biodo Nkewo, also vowed to lay courses on her colleague if he is eventually found guilty of the allegations. And she also went ahead to demand to be shown the CCTV footage. And she wrote, Please, who has the footage where the disgusting, abominable, and unimaginable act is being committed? At least his confession. As someone use courses if he's found guilty. This is hard to believe. Crestfallen is even an understatement. I'm emotionally shattered. That's why I bit off my head. Also, Tampan reacted to this news and he released a statement. The statement partly read, We find it obligatory to condemn in totality the odious occurrence of pedophilia confessed to by Mr. Laura Ju James, aka Babachisha, as confirmed by the police. Association Tampan is crestfallen about this act and we will reproach and demonstrate the committee of such exclusive sexual harassment to prohibition children. Considering the sensitivity of the case, which is still under investigation, according to the Lagos State Commissioner of Police Tampa, we never support all acts against what we preach and represent. As an association, we understand the morals and norms of our people, and behavior will always be homiletic. So we have come to the end of this episode where Princess Damilola Dekoya, who is the foster mom of this 14 years old girl, shares a message from her colleague narrating how Baba Jisha allegedly tried to defile her on sets. We'll be bringing you updates on Baba Jisha's case. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.